Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Serena, hence the intro, hence the channel name. That's so Rena. You get it corny, I know, but that's just how we are here. In today's video, I wanted to do a relaxer update video. I had a lot of questions about my hair, which I was really like surprised about that you guys like care so much about my hair. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna start off with like a few background story facts i guess like what <laughs> i'm gonna go back in time and explain like my hair journey with you guys and then i'm going to discuss how i feel now do i regret it stuff like that um i did recently cut bangs into my hair so if you see me blinking a lot that's why i just cut these bangs probably three weeks ago and they're already overgrowing over my eyes so <laughs> my hair really likes getting trimmed and i honestly We'll, we'll discuss it more when we um when we get into that. To start off, um, I was natural for four years. Um, I have cut my hair several, several times, and I have done the big chop twice. So the first time I did the big chop, it was in high school. I didn't really like it. I used to try to do twist outs and stuff like that, but it never really came out great. But back then, I wasn't really into like natural hair care uh, process what's it called prosticity prosticity or stuff like that um I wasn't into like trying to figure out like what was going on because it was like freshman year of high school and yeah I just was trying to like figure out what I even liked myself in regards to just being in general so I you know didn't have any patience to try to learn about my hair so I just went back to relax then the second time I chopped off my hair and I was I had red hair I color treated it my mom bleached it and I went bright bright red if I can find a picture then I'll add it right here on the screen um yeah I had like this little Fantasia cut thing going on but my hair was relaxed at that time and the color just grew out super fast and I just was like, okay, this is pretty damaging. So I cut it off again. Now that's when I went short. I just cut off all the relaxed parts and went fully natural. And that is when I started, you know, digging, going into this, like this rabbit hole. That's what I'm trying to say. I went through this rabbit hole on YouTube, trying to figure out about hair types. I was watching popular um, natural hair women on YouTube and trying to understand my hair type. I did have 4C hair. Um, now when I say curly, like I put that in quotes because, um, it was more so of an Afro texture. So it was 4C and it was real, real kinky. So I would literally have to pull each strand to see the actual curl because it was so tight. So, um, I would get a lot of comments, uh, when I had my natural hair, like, oh, what happened to your hair? Why does, why isn't your hair as good as your sister's hair and your mom's hair and stuff like that? Um, and it was pretty harsh to be honest, because I'm like, what is bad hair? What is good hair in the first place? So yeah, I dealt with that for a really, really long time to where people were like trying to figure out, well, what happened to you? I would even get it from family members and stuff like that. Or, oh, you got your dad's hair and, uh, your sister's got your mom's hair, the good hair or stuff like that. And I don't really think there's such a thing as good hair or bad hair because, even when I relaxed my hair, it was, oh, um, you know, relaxed hair can't be healthy and stuff like that. But <laughs> y'all see my hair today is flourishing and <laughs> honey, I ain't mad at it. <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, that's pretty much just the background of everything I've had to go through. <laughs> uh, every time I go to the hair salon, they're like, oh, you know, we can trim your ends and we can, um, treat you do some protective styles and stuff but i just feel like if i'm gonna i'm sorry y'all it's in my face because <laughs> i'm not used to the bangs in my face um but i just feel like if i'm gonna always have a wig on or a protective style braids twist anything like that then it really shouldn't matter what kind of hairstyle i have underneath like as long as i'm taking care of it or even if i choose not to take care of it because y'all i was a real lazy natural like the amount of hair that would fall out when I would wash my hair when I was natural was like, it would scare the average person. <laughs> it would scare the average person. But for me, I was like, well, we're going to braid it up anyway. So, you know, who cares? So, yeah. Yeah. 
so let's just get forward to now um now i just figured that hey i don't really like my natural hair i was really just doing it to please others and i was like this is hair on my head so i'd rather just like my hair like if my hair was to the point where it was like like this is my goal right here just this length and to be honest my hair is growing a lot um i do trim my own ends i don't go to a hair salon anymore but it's pretty thick and full right now i like i said i just cut these bangs two three weeks ago and they're already overgrowing i need to trim them again but i'm trying to debate if i just want to grow them out because i might just grow them out because my hair likes getting cut as soon as i cut it it comes right back so i don't know also i've been using this hair growth oil um i'll link it down below it's from watch it glow and grow and also i use another brand of hair growth oil while i have protective styles in and it's from nurture I'll link both of them down below and y'all I swear by them I use them when I was natural and I use them now that I'm relaxed um I definitely take more care of my hair now that it's relaxed than I did when it was natural only because I feel like it's easier for me to maintain this like it being straight and I can feel my scalp y'all that's is great I'm gonna turn around so you guys can see it from the side as well as from the back so this is how my hair is looking right now. As you can see, I can just rake my hair straight through it and all that. So I really, really, really do like it. And um, I'm not here to tell you that you should relax your hair. You should say, I don't want to be natural anymore because everyone can do whatever they want to do in all honesty. But I, it's just easier for me to maintain my hair when it's, when it's uh, relaxed. And that's just the truth i was seeing some comments and they were like oh your hair isn't relaxed you basically just did a, t a text lax because your hair still has texture in it but i'm like okay well thank you for the expert cosmetology opinion <laughs> but i didn't ask for it um i feel like my hair is relaxed i mean what what i don't know i mean i don't know my hair is always gonna be thick because I'm a black woman <laughs> and you know, I take my vitamins, I use the hair growth oil, stuff like that. But y'all have to remember, like I had 4C hair and I use a regular relaxer. So that's why I think that I still have the texture, but you know, if you're a professional and y'all think that my theory is wrong, then so be it. But yeah. Also y'all, this is my hair after getting washed and blow dried. You know, y'all know when you originally get a relaxer and your hair is like ee, like really stuck to your face oh so piece of mine y'all know when you get a relaxer and it's your hair is like that eh, like flat on your face um i don't have that because i washed my hair and blow dried it after so yeah and the way i blow dry my hair um is different well not really it's not really that different than when i was um natural if you want to see like how i used to care for my hair i will link them up here in the corner somewhere i don't know which way YouTube is about to flip this video, but yeah, I will link it somewhere up here in the cards and down below in the description box if you guys want to go check out that journey from when I was natural. But um, yeah, guys, I just wanted to do a quick update because I've been getting questions and you guys seem to care. <laughs> so I was like, let me go ahead and give y'all a relaxer update. Um, I'm debating if I want to do like relaxer updates often like show you guys how i care for my relaxed hair how i'm growing it how you can obtain healthy relaxed hair like i don't know why there's such a myth and um stereotypes about that's the word stereotypes i'm not slow y'all i graduated college <laughs> just had a moment just had one of those moments <laughs> um there's a whole bunch of myths and stereotypes around relaxed hair so if you guys want like more information about that then i can share with you guys what i'm personally going through but again it's not gonna be the same for everybody just like anything that you look online is always gonna be personal to you so i can only show you guys like my journey was personal toward me obviously you guys are gonna get like snips and clips and vlogs and stuff if you watch the vlogs, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any. And yeah, I just want to do this quick little sit down video to discuss this real quick. And that's pretty much all I have to say today. This video is just going to go straight up so you guys just get the raw deal, holy feel about how I feel. Do I regret relaxing my hair? Absolutely not. Would I do it again if I could go back in time? Absolutely. 
because it's nothing wrong with natural hair trust me but i just feel like if you're doing it for the point of making a point to somebody else then you really don't love it you don't appreciate it and really it's really pointless because i like to wake up every day and love how i look without anything extra without weave without clip-ins without anything like that and this i would go out in this when i had my natural hair it was wake up oh if i don't wake up in time i have to put a wig on because i can't step outside my house with this pineapple just like forcing hair just sticks in place so i couldn't just go out with this pineapple just bush just sitting on top of my head but um some people they can manage 4c hair way better than me and it's it's honestly beautiful so if you just love your natural regardless if you're natural or relaxed okay because this is my hair like this is my real hair coming out my scalp so it doesn't matter if it's straight kinky curly anything like that do you boo do you <laughs> so yeah y'all remember to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye